Hi guys, how are you doing? Meow. Yeah, so I have my little kitty ears on and that is because today we're going to be talking about face care. I'm going to let you guys know my face care routine and let you in on all the products that I have been using and loving currently. I personally like to switch things up. Usually once I finish with a product, I like to move on and try something new, but a lot of these are my favorites, so I do reuse them a lot. So I'm excited to share them all with you and hopefully inspire you guys to try out some new products if you haven't tried them yet. So we are gonna put our hair up and get right to it. To start with my face wash I'm using the Dermalogica special cleansing gel and this was originally recommended to me by a dermatologist and honestly I love it it's very gentle it doesn't dry out your face and it doesn't really have a scent therefore it's really good for sensitive skin I have been using it and loving it it is a big bottle and it is costly it's about $50 but honestly I feel like this thing has lasted me about a year so it's definitely worth the buy it's pretty good at getting most of your makeup off, so it's a really good gentle cleanser. Then to remove the rest of my makeup, I had bought this sample and honestly I think it's great. It is the Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing oil and it's really awesome. I love how you can just pump it out. I like to use it to take the rest of my eye makeup off or any stubborn waterproof makeup this oil just takes it all off and it feels really great and soothing on the skin as well i definitely give this a big thumbs up so i might have to go and purchase a bigger bottle i use two types of scrubs and the first one i use is the fresh sugar face polish and this stuff smells so good it's amazing it's just like brown sugar it's freaking awesome what's really cool about it is that it melts on your face and what you're supposed to do is just scrub it into your face until all the sugar molecules melt and then just keep it on your face for a couple minutes before you wash it off so it's actually really good to do in the shower which I do a lot and honestly it just leaves your skin really moisturized and soft and I, again I'm saying it smells phenomenal the other one I'm actually trying out right now is the Tatcha Polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. And this stuff is also very gentle. You rub it into your face and it also somewhat dissolves. It does have a bit of a like powdery flower scent to it. I don't know if that would bother you, but I think it makes your skin feel great and it's a good gentle way to not hurt your skin when scrubbing. Um, I'm still trying this out, so I'm not sure if I will be using this long term. Then moving on to my absolute favorite things in face care, and that is mists. My absolute favorite is the Shiseido Ibuki Quick Fix Mist. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is awesome. I put it on in the morning, at night. It's just something about it. It just like absorbs into your skin and instantly moisturizes your skin and it smells good and it feels good super refreshing <laughs> the other one that i'm currently using i bought this on a whim and it's the herbivore rose hibiscus coconut water hydrating face mist and i think this stuff smells so great if you love rose water and coconut i mean you're gonna love this if i'm not using my other one i use this one i like to sort of alternate and again, I use this first thing in the morning after washing my face. The third mist that I use is the La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water Sensitive Skin. This stuff is freaking awesome. You can bring it to the beach. This is something I would throw in my gym bag because you just want to whip it out at any time of the day and just spray your face because it is so refreshing and it just instantly gives your skin like a boost of energy and a mist of moisture. It's awesome. Then going on to my face cream, I have been using Korean skincare products and this is the Hume Yeon Cream. And this stuff is really gentle. It feels somewhat more like a gel serum, but it's very light and it's not super heavy. I have oily skin, therefore I can't use really heavy cream. So for me, this is just perfect and it's not sticky, it absorbs and it doesn't feel weird under my makeup. And then the cream I like to use at night is the Shiseido Ibuki Beauty Sleeping Mask and this thing is awesome. It also smells so good and it has these little tiny beads in it and when you put it on they just kind of, I don't know, almost like pop or disappear on your face. 
and you just put it on right before you go to bed and you do not wash it off you wash it off in the morning and this gives your skin a lot of hydration because I don't use really heavy moisturizers during the day this is really good for me and I probably do this two to three times a week just to make sure my skin doesn't over dry for acne I use Kate Somerville eradicate acne treatment of course I break out I used to have really bad acne and thank god I was able to cure it if you guys want to hear my acne story please let me know in the comments below and I will share it with you honestly this stuff is great you just put it on before bed and it really dries out any zit that you know you feel swelling or coming so instead of popping it I put this on it and it's sort of like a pink clay it may not look so cute but trust me it does the trick <laughs> and it doesn't get on your bedding or anything so don't worry about that eye care is very important so that we do not age so I've been using three different eye creams the first one is the Sansim Chongason eye cream I hope I said that right and it's a Korean eye cream that I got when I got my face lotion and honestly it's very rich and I think it works wonderfully I use this only at night because it is so rich and that's when you really want to get that deep moisture and around our eyes is the first place we get wrinkles so it's really important to hydrate that area during the day I've been using Kiehl's and I got both the facial fuel eye depuffer and Kiehl's eye alert and the funny thing about these two is that they were for men and the lady at the store when I was getting them thought that I was getting it for my dad or my boyfriend but nah, -uh -uh, I was getting it for myself because I heard great reviews about them and honestly they're like cool and minty and it's really refreshing so it kind of just wakes you up as well as helps de-swell any puffiness you have under your eyes so I highly recommend you try them out for masks, the first mask I use is the Fresh Rose Face Mask and this is a very light, moisturizing, calming mask and I'll probably do this once or twice a week and you just put it on your face, it's like a gel, it's kind of watery and it smells really refreshing and you just keep it on for 10-15 minutes and then wash it off, it's really easy to get off which I love, it's a simple mask to do. And then the second one I do is the Clinique Acne Solutions Oil Control Cleansing Mask. And this is to kind of deep clean. If you are acne prone, this is a great mask. It really helps dry out the excess oils and help um, lure all those blackheads out of you. It is a clay-like mask, so you will feel your skin tightening, but not to worry. As soon as you wash it off, your skin feels supple and great. So yeah, that's definitely one of my favorites as well. So that was it for my face care routine, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what other beauty videos you guys would like to see. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, do not forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to say hey to me on all my social media and find me on Instagram, guys. And that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you next week with another video. Bye.